Peppa Pig and the Magic Rainbow. Chapter 1, A Rainy Day Peppa. Pig was bored. It was a rainy day, and she couldn't go outside to play with her friends. She looked out of the window and saw the gray clouds covering the sky. Peppa, why don't you play with George? Mummy Pig suggested. George is too little, he only likes dinosaurs, Peppa said. Well, why don't you read a book? Daddy Pig offered. Books are boring, I want to have an adventure, Peppa said. An adventure? What kind of adventure? Daddy Pig asked. I don't know, something exciting and fun, Peppa said. Maybe you can use your imagination and pretend that you are in a different world, Mummy Pig said. A different world? Like where? Peppa asked. Anywhere you want, Peppa. You can make up your own world with your own rules and characters, Mummy Pig said. Really? That sounds interesting, Peppa said. Yes, really. All you need is your imagination and a bit of magic, Mummy Pig said. Magic? Where can I find magic? Peppa asked. Mummy Pig smiled and winked at Daddy Pig. She went to the cupboard and took out a box. She opened it and showed Peppa what was inside. Look, Peppa. This is a magic rainbow, Mummy Pig said. Peppa gasped as she saw a colorful rainbow made of paper and glitter. It had seven colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. It's beautiful, Mummy. How is it magic? Peppa asked. Well, this rainbow was given to me by my grandmother when I was a little piggy like you. She told me that it has special powers. If you hold it in your hands and make a wish, it will take you to the world of your dreams, Mummy Pig said. Wow, really? Can I try it? Peppa asked eagerly. Of course, Peppa. But remember, you have to be careful what you wish for. And you have to be back before dinner time, Mummy Pig said. Okay, Mummy. Thank you for the magic rainbow, Peppa said. She took the rainbow from Mummy Pig and held it in her hands. She closed her eyes and thought hard about what she wanted to wish for. I wish I could go to a world where I can have an amazing adventure with my friends, she said aloud. As soon as she said that, she felt a warm sensation in her hands. She opened her eyes and saw that the rainbow was glowing brightly. She felt a gentle breeze on her face and heard a soft voice in her ear. Your wish is granted, Peppa. Hold on tight and enjoy the ride, the voice said. Peppa felt a sudden pull and everything around her became blurry. She screamed as she felt herself flying through the air. She looked down and saw that she was leaving her house behind. She saw the trees, the fields, the roads, and the town getting smaller and smaller as she soared higher and higher into the sky. She looked up and saw that she was heading towards a big rainbow that appeared in the clouds. It was the same rainbow as the one in her hands, but much bigger and brighter. She felt a thrill of excitement as she approached it. She entered the rainbow and felt a burst of colors around her. She saw red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet swirling and mixing together. She felt like she was in a kaleidoscope of light. She heard music playing in her ears, a cheerful tune that made her want to dance. She smiled and laughed as she enjoyed the ride. She wondered where the rainbow would take her and what kind of adventure she would have there. She hoped that her friends would be there too. She reached the end of the rainbow and saw another world waiting for her. It was unlike anything she had ever seen before. It was a world full of wonder and magic.